You know, in this world of iPhones, Galaxy Ultras, and Pixel Pros, you begin to wonder if there's really any space for anyone else to contend with the big three. Back in the early 2010s, competition was alive, but there really aren't that many dogs left in the fight today. Windows Phone is gone, LG's gone, HTC's gone, Blackberry's been gone. But before we take a moment of silence for all those companies that we've lost, let me tell you about why nothing matters in 2023. Phone One is the brainchild of one of the last visionaries, you could say, in this mobile tech industry, Carl Pei, the founder of the OnePlus, and not the Apple ripoff that we have now, but I'm talking about like flagship killer OnePlus, the sandstone assassin, that, you know, OG OnePlus that you can only get invitations to even buy, that Carl Pei and that OnePlus. You know, Carl has proven again that he can be a disruptor in this industry. Granted, the splash of nothing phone has, you know, as a puddle in comparison to OnePlus back in the day, but this is a good start. Now, this isn't a full blown review of the Nothing Phone One, you know, with charts and graphs, because you already know that I'm not really that guy. But let's run through some of the specs anyway for all those people out there that don't know already. The Nothing Phone One has a 6.5 inch AMOLED display, 120 hertz refresh rate on that, and it's coming in at 1080p, 128 gigs of storage, 8 gigs of RAM also has the Snapdragon 778G+, 50 megapixel rear camera, 16 megapixel selfie camera, and 4500 milliamp battery, and you can find this phone online in various marketplaces for around $400. Now let's talk about one of the aspects of a phone that's extremely important, and that is the look and feel. Now I don't know if it's just me, maybe I'm a weirdo, but when I pick up a product, whether it's a phone or headphones or a gaming controller, you just know when it feels well made. You know, maybe it's the weight distribution, the texture, but you just know, you get that feeling, and the Nothing Phone gives you that feeling. It definitely feels like it's worth way more than the price tag, and you want to pick it up more often than not just to use it or look at it or hold it. Now, I know some people could care less about how their phone's designed, they just want it to work, but I really enjoy when a company clearly pays attention to the details, like haptic feedback. It's actually really nice on this phone, and it can be hit or miss for a phone that's in this price bracket. I'm also happy that 120 hertz has become the standard for smartphones nowadays because I can't go back to 60 hertz or even 90 hertz. I have become spoiled. <laughs> the Nothing Phone screen isn't the brightest and definitely not the sharpest coming in at 1080p, but it doesn't detract from the user experience and feels appropriate for the price. Now, when it comes to software, this phone is pretty much stock Android, but an elevated version with a few improvements. I like the different touches, you know, with the drop down notification shade and the icons being a little different there. And also the biggest thing being the icon pack customization being built into the UI of the settings and not having to download like a third party launcher. I just wish Google and, you know, the Pixel team would incorporate little touches like that. Of course, it's nice to have the, you know, with Android 13, the new uh, UI where it's like the U, what do they call it? The, the UI or some BU or some system where like it kind of reads off of like what your background wallpaper is and changes the color of the icons based on that kind of stuff. That's cool and all that. But their icon customization is still in beta and it's kind of crude. I would just wish that they would give you the option to install your own icon pack in the stock pixel launcher that'd be awesome google should definitely take notes from nothing when it comes to customization and like i said this isn't a full-blown review but i honestly can't think of anything that i really dislike about this phone and that's not saying that this phone's perfect but within context of it being a budget device and serving as proof of concept for a new company and any complaints it would really just feel like i'm being nitpicky or they'll feel unwarranted i reserve the critical feedback for their rumored flagship device that supposedly is in development and may come out this year but let's talk about why nothing matters in 2023 as i mentioned earlier the market is really dominated by two companies well that's four two companies samsung and apple you can sprinkle google in there too but this leaves us the consumer with limited options and less innovation there's no competition to really drive the industry forward because everyone's been wiped out but nothing phone really means that there's still a space for emerging OEMs to produce something different. Now, they aren't reinventing the wheel. They're definitely taking a lot of design cues from Apple and all the other competitors out there, but it flexes when it comes to its brand identity and marketing genius. I love seeing how transparent they are, like Carl Pei reviewing the Nothing Phone iPhone Galaxy phones on YouTube, and they're being super objective about it. Like, it doesn't feel like they're feeding the minds. It feels genuine. 
And that transparency is something that we will never get from any established players in the space. And it's really refreshing to see, which needless to say, I'm pretty excited about the future of this brand. They have a long way to go, you know, on their mission. If their mission is to be a big contender in the space, they have a long way to go. And the mission seems almost impossible. But I'm no stranger to rooting for the underdog. Hopefully their journey really inspires the next Steve Jobs out there that may have something in development or that is, you know, young and just watching the process. Um, they make solid products and I like their brand identity. I've used the nothing ear sticks. <laughs> I've also played with the nothing buds with the clear flip open case and they make solid stuff. And I'm in intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with their, their next shot because they've proven the concept. They're on the market. They made, you know, headlines Their phones not selling extremely well because I think that also comes down to supply. Um, but I think the demand could be there if they come out with a true flagship device. And I think they could be a disruptor. This may be the, the reemergence or rebirth of OnePlus. But that's about it for me, guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like this content, you like these more topical videos, not just a, a regular review, feel free to subscribe if you like that kind of content um, because I'll be producing much more of it. But until next time, guys, it's been a pleasure. Stay fresh. Peace.